it seems to me that looking at the uh, four national theatre productions, that the move is from Othello as the isolated grand performance by the actor at the peak of his career to an understanding of the part embedded in a domestic, cultural, military circumstance where Othello is not the exceptional part but part of this culture of the play that is being performed. So that with Harewood and with Lester, you really get a sense of Othello in a world, as opposed to looking at Olivia and Schofield as the exception. For Olivier, race wasn't an issue. Race was an interesting factor in the play, and he chose to make it kind of paramount. The result of that was um, that I know some black actors who saw the play and were appalled by his imitation of stereotypical behaviour. I know other black actors who saw the play and were inspired to become Shakespearean actors because of their sheer admiration for what he did. It took him hours to put on his makeup and he put it on layer on top of layer on top of layer. And the story is that between each layer he buffed himself uh, with a silk handkerchief uh, to create the shine uh, that, uh, that was in evidence when he played the part. The rich was John Dexter. What he did was to strip away everything around Olivier to allow him to give a traditional classical performance in terms of its scale, even though the interpretation was shocking. And of course, the famous moment uh, in the interpretation is that Othello's final speech, had done the state some service, was seen by Olivier as an act of self-deceit. That this is a man who refuses to recognise his, um, his guilt. The Scopic production was directed by Peter Hall um, in the Olivier. The production was set in a traditionally Renaissance setting and Schofield came in as the star. Again, he approached it as a vocal performance. And uh, if you look at the reviews, you get a sense that he may have been rather ungainly and a little awkward and, and, and ill at ease physically on the huge Olivier stage. People hadn't really worked out a way of doing Shakespeare on the Olivier yet. What he did was um, he made a fellow an elderly man, very much at ease with the senators of Venice, not at ease with anybody else, very much alienated, very much nervous and distant. David Harewood was the first British black actor to play this part. What was so painful and so visible was the virulence of Iago's racism. It was palpable and stood against the wonder of Desdemona, who didn't see race at all. Claire Skinner played Desdemona, tiny actor, little actor, surely must have been cast with a view to her, almost only ever coming up to, to his chest. And when she got angry with her pummeling that chest, which was like the rock of Gibraltar over the top of her head, he'd killed her. She was, she was laid out in the bed that was very close to the audience. But at that point, he picked up the body and she was clearly dead, her head lolled back. But he talked to the body, he spoke to the body and the lines are about the knocking at the door and should we let them in? But as he was holding the body in this, this doll was almost speaking back in the gyrations. It was incredibly painful. very early meeting that I had with Nick. Um, I said I'd, it would be great if we don't make Othello isolated on stage because people think that if you are racially isolated then you're isolated. Othello is West African, he can still be isolated and still have black people around him. Let's, let's actually do a 21st century version of this play and let's make it about character and let's make sure we above all look at that. In the play Race is simply a tool that Iago uses to manipulate. It's no more than that. 
I would agree if Heitner and Lester say that this is a, a, a play that is beyond race, because in fact that takes us back to what I think was the play Shakespeare wrote in 1604, before the institutionalization of commercial slavery uh, in the transatlantic slave uh, trade inferiorized the black man. What they show in a production that I think is beyond race is that in fact the real dynamic is that men hate men and men destroy men. So the tropes of blackness are really just ways of achieving the destruction of man on man. The one thing that this production um, draws a line under for the, you know, for the following sort of performance future of this play, if it draws a line under that and says, no, it's not about race. He's not a representative of blackness. He's Othello. <laughs>